Hello YouTube and all in avid, this is NVE817 here with another video coming at you and today as you can see we are back in Minecraft VSS Tutorial Season 2. Um, I actually didn't even check what episode this is, I believe it's either 8 or 9, uh, but nonetheless we are still back in the SS Tutorials. It has been a while since uh, we've been here uh, and uh, as you can see the last thing that we've done is we built our little mine shaft here. So, uh, my plans for today's episode are to start work on an item elevator that, uh, if I go down into my storage area, will transport items to somewhere down here, uh, so all of my stone items will be transported into my basement. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Alright, so let's just get started and uh the first thing that i actually want to do is uh actually never mind okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is i want to dig out an area that the items are actually going to be transported into so i'm, I'm just gonna dig out like a small area because uh the item elevator shaft is on the the items are on that side so um yeah so I'm just gonna start digging out, and before I do that, I'm gonna make a shovel with some of this. Oh wait, I already have a shovel, I didn't even realize that. Okay, I gotta dig this dirt out. Also, I just wanna apologize if uh, there's a little bit of background noise that sounds like my house is about to blow down. It's really windy today. Uh, you might be able to hear that. Yeah, it's kinda just rumbling a little bit. It's no big deal. All right, so now I have the place uh, where it's actually gonna like filter into some chests. I'm gonna place stairs here, just not yet. Uh, so there's gonna be chests right here, and then there's gonna be hoppers coming down from below, going up into um, the item transporter. So the next step would probably be to start work on a path from down here up to the surface uh, where my the place where it's gonna be dropped off is and I actually just ran into the mine here so uh, if you guys can't already tell uh, so I haven't I haven't actually explained how we're gonna make the item teleporter uh, but Essentially, what's going to happen is there's going to be glass all around here, and it's going to go straight down into the mine, and then there's going to be a hopper down there that I can throw all the stuff into. It'll be transported up here and sent to a chest here. So now the step is to dig a 3x3 three three area down to bedrock. This is going to take a while, and a lot of pickaxes. Okay, guys, so... um. I did not get very far down, uh, but I thought, hey, why don't I just take some of this time? Uh, it's going to take a while. How about I just take some of this time to talk to you guys a little bit about some stuff? So, uh, mainly, I want to talk to you guys about Minecon, and I was so excited. Guys, that was awesome. I was mainly excited for when they showed Update Aquatic. It looks amazing the trident I, I, can, I honestly can't wait for that uh it look it looks pretty cool um i don't know when it's gonna come out i think that they said sometime in 2018 so it's not that long of a wait um obviously like a year at most uh so yeah it's good it's gonna be cool it's gonna be cool uh so i can't i can't i can't wait for that um and uh yeah honestly I think that my favorite part about the whole presentation was probably, it's hard to say. Oh yeah, I'll grab some iron while I'm digging down here. Uh, my favorite part about the entire presentation, sheesh, oh, that's a cave. And that's why you never dig straight down, guys, because this could have been a lava-filled cave. There's some mushrooms down here, might as well grab them. Uh, so, my favorite part was probably seeing everything to do with the trident. The trident looks awesome. 
especially all of the new stuff that's going down with it. Uh, I think that that looks pretty cool. And it looks like I've just dug into a ravine. Looks like there's a ton of iron down here. I think that I'm going to come back to this place later. That is pretty cool. Okay, I might as well grab a little bit of this iron while I'm here. Because uh, I'm using complete iron pickaxes. And I really don't want them to break. Uh, and I'm using a lot of materials to just use iron pickaxes. So anyway, let's just get back on duty. What is this? Are these silverfish eggs? Oh, I did run into this cave. I don't think that I went down it, though. Okay, uh, where is my tunnel thing? Is it up there? Oh, yeah, it's up there. Okay, I'm just going to break through this wall. Uh, so, yeah, I really, I really like all this stuff with the trident. Um... I didn't really like all of the new water functions. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I'm fine with the with Mojang making Minecraft a bit more realistic. I'm actually completely fine with that. But I just feel like that eliminates a lot of opportunities for people who were making builds that kind of, like, use those glitches to their advantage. Um... But of course, when one door opens, uh, or when one door closes, another one opens. So this could definitely uh, benefit us in the future. It could help us make more new and cool creations. So I don't know. I'm kind of split on that. Uh, it, it, uh, I, I don't know. I just didn't really like it too much. Um, but uh, yeah, I like how uh, Jeb or Jens, whatever you want to call him. Um, he announced uh, all the stuff with the trident, um, with those enchant uh, those enchantments that you can put on the trident that basically allow you to like soar through the air, through the water, and how you can soar through the air while it's raining. And like you said, nobody's like, "Yay, it's raining in Minecraft!" Nobody likes rain in Minecraft unless they're like waiting for a fishing trip. Like seriously. But now it actually gives rain much more of a purpose. So I am really excited for Update Aquatic. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, guys, we are actually making some pretty good progress right here. If you can't tell, we are actually on level 36 now. And it is raining. <laughs> um, uh, but... Uh, yeah, we are on level 36 right now, so we are actually making some pretty good progress here. Uh, 35 now, we're about on level 20. So, um, we're making some pretty good progress right here, and I think that we should be done soon, so I'm pretty excited for that. Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? An emerald! Oh, yes! Emeralds! Emeralds, give me that. I don't care about dirt. I want my emerald. Have I found any emeralds this season yet? I'm actually not sure. Uh, but anyway, I just made it down. And uh, it actually worked out pretty good because I'm already right next to it. So I am, I, we just, that's some pretty good stuff that we just did right there. So uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So, next step, what we have to do is we have to replace all of that with glass. This is going to take a really long time, because uh, if we do the math, uh, I don't, I, let me, I, I'm, I'm going to do the math real quick and see how many pieces of glass this is going to take. This thunder is really not doing good things to my microphone. Uh, okay, anything. A anyway, uh, let me just do some math here. If the hole is three, and right now, uh, if I go here, the hole is three, and I am on block level 74, correction, uh, it would be nine blocks, not three, so if I do some math here, okay, let's see here. So 74 times 9 equals, oh, 
Well, I guess we're gonna need 666 pieces of glass to fill this in. Also, if I do 666 divided by 64, then we're not even going to need to have a full inventory of glass. So I guess that's pretty good. I just crafted like five shovels, but the bad part is I don't have a place to mine sand. <laughs> Where am I supposed to get some sand near this giant island that I call my home? Like, actually, what am I supposed to do? It, did I just, do my eyes deceive me? Did I just see an island over there? I mean, there's some sand over there. It's gonna be pretty useless. There's some sand in the water. But that's gonna take way too long to mine. Like, let's be realistic. I need 666 pieces of sand. Like, c come on, come on, guys. We're, we're gonna need a little bit more. Oh, wait, I don't live on an island. Wait, that tree is still there? I remember when I mined the wood from that tree, and it's still there. That was, like, a year ago. Okay, uh, so... It, I, guess, I guess I can go head over to that island. There might be 666 pieces of sand over there. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just go here first, though. So, wait. Uh, how many... I, I just need, like, a little bit... I need 11 slots of sand. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I can get rid of some stuff. I have n nine slots. I, I, sh I should be fine, I think. Okay, guys, it looks like I have just enough sand. And uh, it's times like these when you wish that you had some people's super smelters. Qu quote, unquote, super smelters. I, I really wish I had one of those. Um... But I think I'm just going to put a bunch of furnaces in a row and then just like shove coal and stuff in them. And then everything's going to work out fine. Okay, uh, so all of these furnaces are smelting simultaneously. Now uh, I need about 32 more pieces of coal. So I'm going to head down here. And I think that there were actually a couple of pieces on that cave that was on the way down. I'm actually not going to go down there. I'm going to go down the safe way. Uh, this way. Down into here. And it looks like the sun is rising. Uh, so I did do the math. I should have enough glass to fill up uh, that entire area. And I'm really excited about it. I really don't want to die here. Ay! Okay. And there's actually some coal right here. I need to get as much coal as I can, um, cause coal is not only something that I need for this project, it's also something that, like, I just need in general, cause I, I am a bit low on this stuff, I only have six pieces right now, so, uh, I'm gonna hope that I can get 32 pieces, cause that's about what I need, um, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so currently I am inside, um... Uh, a ravine uh, the ravine that I found while I was digging the three by three area and I went searching for coal and it looks like my luck has uh, has been used uh, that's that that's not really how you should use that uh, but uh, we have 25 pieces can this vein put us up to 32 I think it can it can it can definitely and it looks like we have just enough 39 pieces okay uh i'm just gonna head up i'm not gonna take any of this iron uh, i'm gonna just head up it's gonna be hard to get out of here i think i also dug like a giant pillar up i realized that that wasn't really a good idea because now that i'm thinking about it i could have just gone down the whatever it was i could have just gone down the ladder and broken that stone but no i'm an idiot so i didn't do that 
And uh, if I if I walk over here, as you can plainly see, I just dug a giant pillar. So I'm really stupid, uh, but nonetheless, um, I just gotta keep going. Now this is like the one exception for the never dig straight down rule. Okay, this is the one exception. Just so you guys know. Okay, here we are back at the cottage. It looks like uh, this 39 glass is done. Uh, all of these furnaces are doing some pretty good work here. So I'm just gonna plop eight pieces into each of these furnaces because if you didn't know, uh, eight pieces of coal is enough to, s or one piece of coal is enough to smell eight items. So, um, yeah, it, 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 you're supposed to put eight in because obviously there's a bunch of stacks there. So now I basically just need to wait until everything is done smelting. And then I should uh, be able to start work on this. Okay, guys, I am back. Uh, it is the next day and uh, I have... All of the glass has been smelted. Uh, I let this run for like an hour or two. Uh, and all of the glass has been smelted. So now, I think that we are ready to start work on this thing. That is very exciting. So real quick, I'm just going to empty my inventory of all this junk. Uh, so yeah, let me just put all this in here. Where are the tools? Stone items, farming items, or tool items here. Uh, I'll just put all these shovels in. And I just want my inventory to be completely clear. I'll, I'll get all those items out of there soon. Uh, I just want my inventory to be clear so that I can make way for all of this glass. Um, I need to get it out of all the furnaces. And this is actually going to give me... A pretty good amount of, of experience too so here and then one right here and I already, wait, did I already okay whatever and then here and then here and then here perfect so if we count we have uh, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then plus 39. We actually only need plus 26. Uh, but, you know, whatever. So, fortunately, um, obviously I'm going to jump down here and do it from the bottom. Fortunately, um, it's easier to go up than it is to go down. So, um, thankfully, uh, it, it isn't going to be as hard as digging all the way down. So... Uh, I guess I'm just gonna get started building up. There's nothing else to do. Um. All right. Uh, I'm also gonna leave a little bit of space for the actual mechanism down here before uh, I like essentially build up everything because I don't want to lose any glass and I'm gonna have to break the glass if I want to get all the mechanisms done. So let's. doing pretty good i've been collecting all the ores on the side of the wall so that i don't have to 
grab them like I, I don't need to mine into the glass or like mine around the glass just to get those ores if I want them because it, it's gonna bother me and most likely whoever watches this video it's gonna bother them too that I just left ores surrounded by glass uh, and the cobblestone might bother you too but I can't really do anything about that right now because I don't really have any stone on me and I really don't feel like replacing it so um yeah, I, I'm just taking out all the ores as I go too. So it actually turns out that I didn't need nearly as much glass that I, I, well actually, I still have a pretty good amount of glass left over, but uh, this thing is completely filled in except for the bottom, and we still have a little bit of glass left over, uh, so that's always good, plus we still have uh, those two rows of glass that we have to fill in at the bottom once we put the actual mechanism in. Uh, so now we're actually going to start work on the actual mechanism of the uh of the item teleporter and then we should be able to start testing it the bad news is we are going to need a lot of iron the good news is there is a ton down in that cave so i guess i'm gonna start working on the mechanism i'm gonna start getting materials for it Hello everyone, this is NVE817 here, and uh, I just wanted to say that I do apologize as I am a complete idiot and I forgot to start recording while I was actually building the glass pipe itself. Uh, so please forgive me, I'm sorry, I completely forgot to hit the record button, I actually thought that I was recording the entire time but anyway in the video i mentioned that i would be doing an in-depth tutorial on a separate video of me actually building and constructing the item elevator so uh yeah that's about it i do apologize that this scene is not here right now uh and i hope you guys enjoy the video have a great rest of your day and there you go that should be good so uh, I haven't made the chest that goes up there and, like, stops the items, but if we give this a quick test, just throw a couple items in. As you can see, the items are teleporting upward, and if we just start heading up here, we can go into the cozy cottage, head here, go right here, and as you can see, all of the items have come up so what we have to do now is we have to put a couple of hoppers uh actually wait no i'm putting this the wrong way aren't i um do we have any chests yes we do we have a couple of chests left over actually so i'm going to put a chest right here just cover this up a chest right here, and then I'm gonna dig into this wall. Then do this. Put that branching off into there, and it looks like, unfortunately, we are one hopper short. But we can fix that. Uh, we just need to go here uh do i have any iron yes i do actually, i actually already had some in my inventory but i can head up here just craft a hopper real quick doot doot grab that and okay this is like the moment of truth let's uh go into here 
and put a hopper down. Nope. Dang it. Okay, that was wrong. Here, let me just dig back here. Uh, and then... Where's my hopper? Oh, <laughs> I think it fell into here. Yeah, give me that hopper back. Uh, and then... Put that right there. So now, let's head back down into the mine. Put a couple of items in here. Just a little bit of stone. So that's why, oh yeah, I just went mining. Let me throw some of my items in here. And we're like, oh yeah, okay. And I, and I just want to go back to mining. Then, time for the moment of truth. It works! Yes! Guys, this thing works! That is awesome! I was honestly expecting something to backfire. I'm not going to lie. I was honestly expecting something to go horribly wrong. And then I would have to, like, fix something. And then, like, everything would just fall apart. But no. This is actually functioning. So now, if I go down into that mine, and I'm like, oh, no, my inventory's full. I can just shove all of my stuff into that hopper. And then it'll bring it straight up here into this chest where I can come over here, collect it, and then put it into storage. Yes! Guys, I consider that a successful episode. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Uh, if you're new, then it would really help if you were to subscribe. I am so close to 70 subscribers. I have 68 currently. Uh, so, I really hope that you guys uh, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.